Hi everyone, we are going to talk about the aging reports in Business Central. This is completely we are going to talk about and this is what the aging reports which we are going to discuss. So how, what is aging reports, what are the time period, what are the uh, important uh, the terminologies which we'll be using in the aging reports and everything we will understand what is aging report how often we should generate aging report so how often we should generate aging report okay and what is uh, aging snapshot or you can also uh, think like aging report snapshot what are the relevant fields okay what are the relevant field required for aging snapshot what is the collections customer pool okay we will also discuss collections customer pool okay we'll discuss collections customer pool and why it is used different customer pools criteria so from here we will be discussing about different collections pool criteria so based on what we can um, um, segregate the collection pool criteria okay so i'll show the demo as well by the end i'll be showing you the complete demo about it so first let us understand what is aging report so as i told i'll be telling um, examples and uses for everything okay so don't worry about it so i'll just explain so first of all let us understand what is aging report okay what is aging report so in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central, an aging report is a type of financial report. Okay, it's a type of financial report um, that provides a summary of outstanding accounts receivable or accounts payable balances based on their age. Their age in the sense it's not depend on the customer age, depends on how long they have been paid okay the report categorizes the open invoices or bills according to how long okay how long uh, they have been outstanding uh, it's been outstanding okay so uh, it usually have some interval period so anyhow it should uh, it should have some interval period so we can have 30 days okay they haven't paid for 30 days they haven't paid for 60 days they haven't paid for 90 days and they haven't paid for more than 90 days okay so it provides an overview of how much money is owned to the business who owes the money who owes the money and how long the money has been outstanding so by using aging reports business and business people can monitor their cash flow uh, they can track overdue payments and take necessary steps to collect outstanding debts or pay their own outstanding debts on time so the aging report uh, feature in Microsoft Business Central provides a comprehensive view of a company's accounts receivable or accounts payable, which can help the forecasting and decision making. So this is what the detailed introduction about what is an aging report. So let me just give you an example for this aging report. Okay. So let us understand with an example. So let us say a company ABC okay so this company sells uh, goods to xyz okay they're selling a goods to xyz is it is it and invoices them dollar uh, dollar uh, ten thousand dollar or uh, some rupees okay uh, on january 1 2023 let us understand like uh, january 1 they have invoiced they have raised the invoice with a payment due in 30 days okay so they have to uh, pay the money within 30 days so on february 1 okay so once if you take on february 1 the invoice is still unpaid and abc company generates an aging report in microsoft dynamics 3 365 business central to monitor the overviewed payment so what this ag abc will do is they will generate an aging report so the aging report will shows that this particular company okay this x y z haven't paid the money and they haven't uh, uh, that is the that is some payment overdue okay so the aging report for accounts receivable will categorize the open invoice by age so this is what we call it as an account receivable so we have to get this amount from xyz which is to be received by abc so this we call it as account receivable okay so uh, this is how 
this will categorize the open invoice by age showing the dollar 10000 outstanding balance in 30 days interval column so in your uh, aging uh, aging report you know so you will be having some column okay i'll show you the aging report by the end so don't worry uh, so there will be like 30 day due who are all having 30 days view 60 days view uh dues 90 days you so this will show up that xy is that has been paid and they are in the 30 days overdue okay the invoice remains unpaid by march 1 so uh, for example if this uh this particular xyz okay this xyz even they haven't paid till march 1 20 uh 23 okay they haven't paid till march 1 2023 then what happened it will move to the 60 days column okay so if you go to this uh, this it will this xyz uh, this data will be moved to the 60 days column okay they haven't paid $10000 okay uh, so abc company can then use this report to track the overdue payment and follow up with xyz company to collect the outstanding amount additionally the aging report can help abc company make decisions about extending credit to xyz company in the future based on their payment history for example imagine that uh, this xyz okay abc okay let us uh, forget about xyz abc has raised invoice for some other company called uh, uh, def okay so uh for example in the previous past history def def uh, has no um, uh, like uh, has no unpaid history okay he has already paid everything on time okay but now uh in this uh, year he couldn't pay back because of some reasons okay so what he can do is abc can extend the time limit for def in order to pay them back okay so overall the aging report feature in microsoft dynamics 360 for business central provides a quick and easy way to monitor outstanding invoices and bills and track the payment history of the customers and vendors so this is about aging report what is aging report okay and we should also know like how long we should uh, uh, generate the report okay so what is the frequency to generate the report okay so the frequency of uh, generating aging report in microsoft dynamics business central 365 depends on the specific needs of the business depends on the needs okay so uh, if uh, for example in general it is recommended to generate the report at least once a month okay generally we will ask to re uh, generate a report every month every month we have to generate why because to keep keep track of the overdue invoices or bills and take appropriate actions to collect payments or pay outstanding debts this will allow businesses to stay on top of their cash flow and take necessary steps to avoid any potential financial issues however if a business has a high volume of transactions or frequently deals with a customer or vendor who have a history of delayed payments it may be beneficial to generate the report more frequently for example every week okay so for uh, for if you feel like this particular vendor uh, so xyz vendor they will not pay properly and they have the history of not paying properly okay then you can just go ahead with uh, by asking generate the weekly report and ask them to repay it back so this helps to identify overdue payments quickly and take prompt actions to collect them so ultimately the frequency of generating aging reports in microsoft dynamics 365 business central should be based on the specific needs and characteristics of the business as well as the regularity or requirements of the internal policies okay so as by uh, default you might have already understood that this aging period okay this aging period is uh, like we have to set the aging period okay so what is the period it may be it may be 30 days okay it may be 60 days it may be 90 days or over 90 days okay so in the context of financial reporting the aging period refers to the time interval used to, to categorize outstanding accounts receivable or accounts payable balances on any aging report okay so the aging period indicates how long the invoice or bill has been outstanding and provides a quick snapshot of the payment history of the customers or the vendors for example if the customers invoice has been uh, outstanding for 45 days it will be categorized in the 60 days aging period column 
on the aging report similarly if a vendor's uh, bill has been outstanding for 120 days it will be categorized in the over 90 days over 90 days so uh, you have 90 days okay one is you have uh, this 90 days and last criteria will be over 90 days okay if they have anything like 120 days okay then it will be under over 90 days column okay uh, so this is very very important and next we will understand what is aging snapshot okay we have to understand about aging snapshot okay i'll be telling you uh, like uh, what is an aging snapshot and we can also see what are the fields which are required so an aging snapshot is a mandatory view of the outstanding accounts receivable or accounts payable balances at a specific point of time so as you know if you look at this uh, word that is snapshot snapshot means it's like a uh, image okay like you should understand like how uh, what is a view of monetary view of outstanding reports so aging snapshot means a monetary view of outstanding accounts okay uh, so it provides a snapshot of the aging report which shows the aging period of the outstanding invoices or bills amount so an aging snapshot is useful for a business to quickly access their current account receivable and current account payable situation and identify any potential cash flow issues are there uh, so this is what the snapshot the aging snapshot can be generated at any time in the Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central, providing businesses with a real-time insights for the receivable and payable accounts. So, what are all the important uh, field which is required in order to generate the aging period? So, fields which is mandatory to generate the aging period is one is ID, okay, customer ID, date where they have raised the invoice, and the transaction amount okay you can also include the transaction amount here and uh, customer or vendor name uh, you can include customer or vendor name in order to uh, make sure transaction type what type of transaction they are uh, supposed to pay or they plan to pay or payment terms what are the other payment terms they have okay terms you can add the payment terms uh, aging period column so you have to add the aging period column so these fields are required in your uh, uh, in your uh, uh, report okay aging period column so what are the aging period column so for example you can generate a, a report like this okay for example uh, this is uh, vendor name okay name should be there uh, vendor id or customer id should be there transaction uh, date date of the transaction uh, type of payment payment so whatever anything else if you wanted to add you can add other than that you can add like how many um, a date uh, they have like 30 days okay I'll show you like uh, uh, what is the default report available in business central so don't worry about it over over uh, 90 days okay so these are the other total amount which is due so this also you can think about it so let us understand what is the customer collection pool okay we'll be understanding what is customer collection pool or collections which is required for the aging uh, report okay a collections customer pool is a group of customers who have past due balances or consider high risk for payment uh, delinquency okay it is a collection strategy used by business to prioritize their collection efforts on customers who are most likely to default on their payments for example you know if the customer who is uh, 30 days due okay and he is used to uh, do this delay many times he, ha they, he has the history of delaying these payments okay then you have to concentrate on these uh, this particular customer who are more than having 30 days of delay and who has the history of delays okay and if the customer is having 60 days of delay so you have to segregate him okay like how we are going to segregate so that is what we are going to uh, we are going to see like how we can segregate so this the collection customer pool is created based on various factors such as aging period okay so various factors we have so one is like you can uh, um, you can do this for based on the aging period okay aging period in the sense what are the aging period do they have 30 60 90 over 90 
okay this is aging period and outstanding balances you can also pool them based on the outstanding balances for example if the uh, one who is having only uh, um, ten thousand dollars okay under over 90 okay over 90 but one who is having nearly ten thousand dollars uh, I'm sorry about it okay so he is having uh, 30 days of uh, overdue so uh, based on this I can go ahead and search for okay the on the second one is you can also do based on the payment history customer payment history okay he is a defaulter then I have to just go and uh, uh, check him first he is not a defaulter so we can just give him some more time or we can deal with him later okay payment history the customer's credit score what is the credit score of the customer okay and other relevant data points you can think about it okay so for example uh, so what you can do is what the aging period okay so aging period one of the most important criteria used in the age period definition is the aging period businesses can create customer pools based on the days okay so for example customer pool one what how they'll be creating is what they'll be using customer pool one so the customer with 30 days so customer pool two who is having 60 days past due customer pool three who is having 90 days past due so based on these things you can just go ahead and do so this is for what aging period okay aging period so you will be segregating into pool one who should be concentrating pool two pool three so based on uh, 30 60 90 over 90 okay and if you talk about the payment history so payment history if you take so payment history again you will be segregating into custom pool one pool two pool three okay so pool one where customers who have consistently paid on time for the past six months okay consistently paid uh, paid on past six months but currently they are not paying so pool two customer who have missed one or two payments in the past six months okay that is you will be going with one or two payments missed okay and the pool three you can just go ahead to customers who have a history of consistently missing the payment consistently missing the payment okay so this is what you can segregate based on the payment history okay and the third one is what the credit score so credit score so pool one uh, the customers who have this credit score above 700 okay and this is pool one the next one is pool 2 the customer who have the credit score between 500 to 700 and customer who has the credit score between less than 500 okay so this is a uh, credit score based on the credit score you can just decide on the, uh, uh, the based on the credit score you can pull them okay and the next one is the purchase history purchase history category so based on the purchase history how we are going to categorize okay so the pool one customers who have made large purchases in the past six months okay large purchases so everything will be based on the past six months okay six months so pool two you can just customers who have a history of frequent purchases okay frequent purchases uh, for example he may uh, he might uh, purchased on the first month he haven't purchased for second month he had purchased for the third and fourth month not on the fifth month like that so customer pool 3 will be customers who have not uh, not made any purchases oh, i'm just telling you the uh, example okay how you can segregate so other than that you can also decide and also you can just go ahead with based on the industry or business type So how you will be creating? So the pool one will be customers in the healthcare industry. So uh, healthcare. So pool two will be the customers in the construction industry. 
so based on industry i'm just telling you okay uh, customers in the um some other industry constructions uh, id something like that okay so you can just segregate by using different customer pool criteria in the age period definition business can create customer pools that are tailored to their specific needs so this allows them to prioritize their collections efforts on customers who require the most attention and take appropriate action uh, to collect outstanding debts okay so so far we have discussed about what is an aging report okay how often we should use this report what is the aging period what is an aging snapshot what is the relevant field we have to use and what is a collection pool and what are the different types of collection pool so let us just go ahead and look at the demo so we can find the aged data here okay so how how we can see the aged report here is what you can see there is a search button okay so you can simply select the search button this is what uh, finding any object in business central so if you just uh, simply go and click here search then it will show you uh, what are all the uh, objects which are available to you you can simply search it by using by typing the object name if you know the name okay so i'm just typing aged okay once if you type aged it will show you what are all the reports which are available to you under this aged name so here you can see you have three reports okay so here you can see that we have three reports here that is aged accounts payable age accounts re receivable okay since here it's showing age so it also display so this is not the report we are going to talk about so here this is age account payable so this is for ap and age account receivable this is for ar so uh, you can simply select whatever you want to just uh, explore so i'm just going to uh, click here account receivable aged account receivable so once you click here it will show you some by default it is in the rdlc okay so it's already there if you want to customize you can customize it so aged as of like till today okay and what is the due date so here you can filter whether it is for the posting date due date or the posting date or the document date so you can select here due date and um, period length this is one month okay and you can see print amount in lcy if you want to print the amount in lcy if you want to print the details and heading type so what is the heading type number of dates or date interval so i'm just going with the number of days and uh, new page customer new page per customer so you, if you want uh, in any every customers to be in a separate page then you can go ahead with that if you want to filter based on the customer number for example if you have pulled the customers and if you know the customer number you can go ahead with this so here i'm just going to go ahead with the due date and uh, here i can just um, put it like 30 days and i'm not going to change anything okay so i'm just going to uh, remove this filter and also i'm just going to preview this let us see like what it's trying to show so i'm just trying to uh, import it as a um, uh, excel file okay so i can just go ahead with excel data and layouts just click ok let's see how it is downloading downloading the data and see there might be some issue so here you can see it's an aged account receivable what is the date what is the time and everything and uh, who is the uh, who is the one who is trying to access this is a company name so aged as of april 11 2022 aged due by so here you can see what are the numbers the customer number name currency balanced not due okay these are the people who are not due this is the date and 1 to 30 days not due 31 to 60 days these are all the dues 61 to 90 days and 90 days and above okay so these are the um uh, this is how an aging report will exactly look like I hope you find this video useful. So if you have any doubts in Business Central, you can leave your comments if you really like this video. And if you feel like this video will be definitely useful for someone who will be benefited out of this. So please share this video and give a thumbs up so that this video will reach the right person. And don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.